Yo, what's up? It's your girl Chaz, and welcome to another Chaz Chat video. Today's video is gonna give a little bit about self appreciation and understanding how perfect it is to be you and how it's impossible to be somebody else. I know a lot of us have experienced having that one friend, that one person that hangs around us, and you're just like, dude, you are like freaking a clone of me almost. Like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah, a lot of us can relate, and we're going to talk about where that comes from, and uh, hopefully some things we can do to deal with that from the inside out. Might as well stay tuned, roll that logo. When you're friends with somebody, you're hanging around somebody, naturally you start to pick up little things they do, like slang words, like you, you start to naturally kind of pick up some little thing. But then you have that on the extreme circumstance where that person is literally doing everything you do, from the words you say to the way you do your makeup. Have you ever met someone? That is a combination of everyone around them. When you look at their friend group, you notice that their personality is a combination of the traits from the people that sit around them. And where that comes from is not being okay with who you are. So you pick up pieces from everybody around you to try to make it fit into a puzzle of you. I've been in that situation and I used to get so annoyed because I used to be like, dude, you don't even talk like that. Or like, when did you start saying that word? I'll notice I'll start doing things and all of a sudden it's being picked up and I'm like, dude, like, no one says that but me. I've been in that situation before and it was super annoying. Like, certain words that I knew only I was saying or things I was doing and I was like, dude, you don't even, where'd you get that from? And then you met, the crazy thing is when you say it to somebody, they're like, mm, it just kind of came from my head. And you're like, no, I did. <laughs> the reason I'm bringing this up is because we have to learn to be okay with who we are. And sometimes when we're not okay with who we are, we try to grab pieces of who everybody else is and try to create this identity that's not us when really all we are is an imitation version of everyone that's in our circle. They're just picking up these traits and sometimes even bad ones, like things that's like, I shouldn't even be doing that. And like you're picking, it's kind of like a sponge. Like it starts to eat, like a toddler, kind of. Toddlers, like they don't, they pick up certain things from the environment around them and it's kind of like shaping who they are. And that's the same thing with people who are not necessarily comfortable um, in their own skin. One thing I want to cautious you about that. It's very detrimental to base your identity or yourself in other people because what happens if they leave? Or what happens if they're in the mood? There's a mark of authentic distinction in every single person that can't be mimicked. So when when you try, it's obvious. And the purpose of it, sometimes people just aren't comfortable with who they are. But you have to learn to be comfortable with you. Sometimes we get so caught up in being around other people because we're not comfortable with being around ourselves and that causes a problem because what if that person doesn't want to hang around you? If you put your joy in someone else, what happens if they don't want to be bothered? Then are you not happy? Or if they leave? As long as you put your happiness in other people, you'll forever be on a roller coaster of emotions, unstable and wavering. Some of us really need to take some time and reset to factory settings. Just reboot our brain, spend some time alone, go out with yourself, be comfortable being by yourself, some some real me time. And I don't mean like just like, like some minutes, I mean like spend some time knowing you, loving you, being with you. It does a lot, man. Cause when you put your identity or even just your happiness sometimes, a lot of us, especially um, I think either entertainers or people who like, like social media, like you know what I mean, like YouTubers or artists of sorts, anything that involves, I guess a fan base of sorts, that was the best words I can come up with, we became, become like codependent, you know, codependent on other people's emotions or how they feel because like that is, I guess, in part we cater to our audience. But that can't be the thing that feeds us, the thing that gives us joy, the thing that makes us happy. You will never be successful at being somebody else. So just be you and you might not even know what that looks like because it's so copycatted right now. But spend some time, take yourself on a date, spend some time like just, just you. You and Jesus, you. You know what I mean? Like take your time, learn what you like. And sometimes it's hard to kind of reboot when your brain is filled up with other people. If you got anything out of that, give me a thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.